Hello again from the Stockton San Joaquin County Public Library System. This is Brianna and I am in charge of the three micro libraries in the city of Stockton. And today we're going to be doing a really fun video on acrylic paint pouring. It's a great artistic medium to use if you don't have a lot of experience or expertise with paint as I don't. Um, and it's also extremely relaxing and can give you really beautiful results. To give you an idea of what your finished product might look like, here is an acrylic pour on canvas panels. Um, so acrylic pouring is a really fun way to explore how colors mix and interact with each other. So this is kind of a demonstration of that cell technique. You can see these little circles in the painting. And then here's a different one without the cell technique and with a bunch of different colors. Okay, so let's get started. So for your supplies, you're going to need some paints. I have these pre-mixed um, acrylic paints. If you don't have these, you can just take acrylic paint or even tempura paint and you'll mix it into, you'll pour some into a cup and then you'll pour some water in there and you'll stir it with a popsicle stick or a spoon or whatever you have. You're also going to need some cups. This is gonna be where we pour all of our paints in and then we're gonna flip them on the canvas. You will need a canvas of some type. If you don't have a canvas, you can use a piece of paper. Just make sure it's kind of a sturdier piece of paper, kind of like a cardstock, so it doesn't break from the weight of the paint. The last supply you'll need, and perhaps the most important one, is a tarp because this project does get very messy. Okay, so I've set up my tarp. Since this is such a messy project, it's a great one to do outside in your backyard. So the next thing we're going to do is fill our cups. So I've got quite a big canvas here. So I'm gonna use four cups and see how that works. Okay, so I have my four cups poured. Um, I've used white, a little bit of gold, a dark blue, a turquoise, a light blue, and a little bit of red, just to kind of see what happens when we mix these colors. Okay, so the next part is a little bit tricky and you have to be pretty fast. So we are going to do our best to tip over uh, completely upside down, turn these cups on our canvas without spilling everything. All right, here we go. Okay, so we've tipped over our cups semi-successfully. So now we're gonna lift them up and let the paint spread. If you want, you can kind of do a little splatter effect um, when you pick up your cup just splatter the excess paint. Okay, so here comes the fun part and the part where we don't know how it's gonna turn out. So we're just gonna pick up our painting and we're gonna move it from side to side. You will get messy, so if you don't want your hands to get all painty, please do wear gloves. Actually, I think though I will do a couple more little paint splatters in the corners. So now we have our acrylic pour painting masterpiece. You're gonna want to let your painting sit at least 
overnight to let all of the paint dry that we can pour it on this canvas. And if you do decide to make a masterpiece of your own, please share it with us. You can tag us on Facebook at Stockton San Joaquin County Public Library or on Instagram at hashtag SSJCPL. All right, guys, thank you so much for your time today, and I can't wait to see what you create.